Greetings my friends, Johnny M is in the house with a new video. So actually in this episode a lot of things have happened and I have a list of new vehicles and upgrades that I did so I will talk you through uh, the list as we are uh, as we'll go. In the meantime I sold over 700 pigs. Uh, and yeah, for those who don't know, I uh, replaced my 10 pigsties of a normal size with a modded one. I think it's called Big Pig Husbandry, uh, which uh, can hold 1000 pigs. And mine is... Uh, so I think at the... Yeah, at the time of uh, filming, of recording, it was tier 10, which means that it can hold up to 10,000. Uh, pigs. It's an insane number for those who are not used to my uh, uh, type of uh, gameplay with my tier system. So, for some time now, I uh, intended to diversify at least a little bit my gameplay and do something that I never actually done on camera, camera uh, and in general I haven't done and I decided to plant some um, uh, sugarcane and some poplar so uh, yeah this is what we'll do uh, today in this episode uh, I just fast forward a little bit the time I fed up uh, a little bit my pigs uh, I uh, yeah, I have already 800 of them. The downside, as I explained numerous times, the downside of this big, big, big husbandry is the fact that if you exit the game while you have more than um, more than 511 pigs, you will lose everything that's outside of this number. So you have to be very careful and sell all your pigs before you exit the game and because I had plenty of food like millions and millions I went into a rush and actually for, for an hour and a half or maybe two hours and kept uh, multiplying my pigs kept feeding them and as you can see my I actually produced uh, like more than 30 30,000 of them so a minute ago I had 9 millions in my account, now I have 47. So yeah, I think that was more than 2 hours. Uh, I just cut this footage because I thought it's not that, uh, uh, that interesting. But I decided to use some of this uh, money to buy some new equipment. And as you can see I already spent like over 20 millions uh, buying and then upgrading uh, the poplar and the sugarcane planters, which you'll see later, turn out to be a little bit disappointed. And also uh, buying and upgraded, upgrading a uh, uh, sugarcane harvester and a dedicated harvester for poplar. Because in theory, you can use the same harvester for poplar um, that you're using to chop corn. But the thing is that in the game, the I think mine is what is my yeah it's chrome chrome big x 1180 it doesn't have uh it doesn't have a, a poplar uh header so if you try to fit the new holland poplar header it won't work on the chrome so yeah i was forced to buy a dedicated uh, new holland uh, harvester for the poplar but maybe that's that's even better because uh this way I'll be able to upgrade them separately and now it's actually filling this uh, sugarcane planter for the first time and you'll see in a couple of seconds that I think uh, let me show you so look at the texture uh, after planting the poplar oh the sugarcane I think it's not right I think it should be different the texture it looks to me to me like this is the same texture as the potato after you plant potato and I don't know why this glitch uh, happened maybe that it's okay maybe I don't know but surely something happened mm. 
Now, I think I just tested the poplars in FS15 or 13 when they came up for the first time. And since then I never played with them. And I actually forgot that you should use the same uh, tree planter, you know, and you have to buy this poplar uh, pellets which I also uh, upgraded to tier 6, just like my uh, my planter and my tractor. So they now hold much, much more uh, you know, capacity of poplar. And even so, they, uh, they are consumed very fast, see? Yeah, and unfortunately when you plant these uh, seedlings, uh, they don't change the texture of the ground. So mine doesn't look not very nice now because uh, I, I didn't cultivate the field and it's sprayed with um, lime and I almost forgot in FS17 we used to have this, uh, this DLC pack with uh, horse equipment uh, where we had like some bigger equipment and previously wasn't available, but now it's covered that there is, you know, this this DLC was also converted for FS19. So I went and downloaded it and I just upgraded my planters. So uh, I used to have this horse, uh, I think Maestro, they call horse, horse Maestro, yeah, 12 SW and I replaced them with 24 SW at tier six, which uh, are wider. Uh, I think they're, I don't know, 60 meters or, or something. Yeah, and you just saw me a couple, a couple of seconds ago. I discovered that I had two more cotton bales left on the field. So I went and took my um, trailer and put them in the trailer. I'll, I'll sell them later as I'll, I'll have time. So um, now that I saw that my sugarcane and uh, uh, poplar planters are quite narrow and considering that their har respective harvesters also have very very narrow um, headers I thought that you know I'll, I'll have uh, I'll I won't have what to do you know while, while I'm uh, harvesting uh, them so I decided why not to uh, seed and plant some more crops uh, on my fields. Uh, this is a great occasion also to use uh, this new uh, Maestro 24SV. Yeah, they're really much, much, much wider. Um, but I think their default capacity, uh, seed and um, fertilizer capacity, is the same as the 12SV which for me is not a big problem because they are, uh, I upgraded them already to tier 6. Why not higher? Because I keep the tier of my equipment at the same level as my tractors. So since all my tractors are uh, tier 6, also all my implements and equipments that are used with a tractor, a tractor are also tier 6. Which is unfortunate, I wish it was bigger because sometimes the seeds and the fertilizer is consumed uh, quite fast so you have to run back and forth uh, filling them up yeah here I decided to uh, fill this planter directly from pallets without having to go to my to my base to my home farm and uh, use uh, the placeable trigger that I usually use and yeah planting corn or uh, sunflower in this case does require uh, cultivating before you you plant it yeah I think it's been some time since I uh, I played with uh, sunflower that's why I decided to replace my uh, more uh, you know more traditional uh, uh, canola and lately uh, what uh, soybeans I was using, and yeah, my sugarcane planter was already empty, so I had to go back and fill it up. 
For those who have played with sugarcane, you know probably how the texture of planted sugarcane should look. It's totally different. Yeah, and my poplars are out. And here I'll also have a glitch. As you can see, there is no pellet on my planter. Yeah. And because of that, but I, I managed to fill it up. I don't remember how. I think I filled it up for my uh, uh, seed trigger. I managed to fill it up, but the helper will, would not work. So I solved the problem uh, by disabling seed consumption in the game settings. So when you do this, the helper will work. So yeah, it's a glitch. After afterwards, I uh, figure out that I should have just, you know, exit the game. And reload it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So since I bought some more, some more uh, seed hogs, I think I have four now. Uh, I don't know if I, uh, I do really need all four of them. Uh, it would be easier to have another uh, seed trigger uh, to have more space because the the previous one was right in the middle of a lot of stuff. So it was quite difficult to load, especially this seed hog, uh, because it's uh, it's quite a mouse. I think in real life it should look like a giant. You know, when you look at this um, tanker for seeds and cedars, and you compare it with the size of Fen 1000, which is already a giant tractor, uh, so it looks like this bunker is more the size of a wagon, a train wagon. It's absolutely immense. I would, I wish. I would see it in real life, but I don't think here in France we have this sort of equipment as it's, it's too big for for the fields that you can see here. I think this is more more for uh, like countries like US or uh, Australia. And yeah, a couple of minutes ago I also added two more tractors of the colors that I didn't have previously, so a yellow one and a brown one, this one. So yeah, now I have eight Fent 1000s. Uh, for those who will be following my series, you know that probably uh, this is are my favorite tractors. So that's why I'm using them, and for me they're the you know, the most versatile. So yeah, sunflower on my top merged fields, and barley on my lower, on my low uh, row of uh, bottom, I should say bottom row of uh, merged fields. Yeah, as you can see the fertilizer and the seeds are not used because I disabled the use of them just to be able to continue um, to uh, plant poplars without exiting the game but later I'll turn it on when I'll finish uh, planting poplars because I dedicated a an entire field for sugarcane and an entire field for poplars but um, I don't know if I'll you know I'll be able to harvest it entirely because when I looked at the very narrow uh, headers of these two harvesters, I said to myself, yeah, it's going to take a long, long, long time. So here it looks like the cultivation of the sunflower field is almost finished. Okay, and the planting of uh, sunflower is also almost finished. You can see the, the field is almost entirely yellow, which is the color of sunflower fields in FS19. Yeah, since I had a spare, a, a little bit of spare time, I let some of my cultivators cultivate some other fields. Because even after you finish harvesting a field, its crop color will stay on the minimap. 
So, but if you cultivate it, it will change the color to a neutral one. So, yeah, that's why I uh, I cultivated some of the fields afterwards. And yeah, it's almost done. I think I can stop the helpers, at least one of them. Yeah, it's wobbling just because, uh, you know, the planting speed is quite high. And also the replay speed is 600%, so it's wobbling when it's working. Although in real time and at real, real speeds, it should not wobble as much. I tend now to bring back all the equipment and keep it in a nice row or a couple of row, rows. Uh, for me it's not hard to find my equipment on map, but for you it's better because you have a visual visualization of all that I own, you know, outside this list on the left. Yeah, it's better, it's always better to have this visualization. The sugar cane almost finished planting, just a little bit more. So yeah, as I said, my plan was to plant those two nodes, uh, new crops and also seed some more traditional crops and then do the harvesting at once. But you'll see later that it didn't turn out to be a good idea just because I actually didn't know, but sugarcane and sapling and poplar, they have a different growth rate. So if a normal crop, which I'm us usually harvesting uh, to feed my pigs, takes about two days to mature, well, these two new crops actually take like three or four days, in-game days. So um, yeah, we'll see, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to harvest them all at once. Even with this giant enormous cedar, in even at 60 kilometers an hour, it's taking a lot of time to seed the field. But I think I... Uh, yeah, I started to fast forward without realizing that I have just a little bit more to finish the field and it's already done. Now, as I said, we will fast forward for two days because that's what I was hoping it's gonna take uh, for the sugar cane and poplars to mature. Okay, uh, one day passed, so now I have to re-fertilize my fields to apply the second fertilization state. As usual, it's not necessary, but you get like, like I think 30% of additional yield. And I'm using everything I have fertilization wise the liquid fertilizers and then the solid fertilizers and yeah you just saw the in the bottom row of fields there are some some fields that do require lime so uh, I haven't applied lime on all of them when I merge them, but I think it will do. We're not, you know, when we have so so such a big field, because uh, please do know this is a 4x map, so it's four times the size of a of a normal map. So these top and bottom row fields are actually ginormous. You know, not all the fields here in France in real life are as big as those two. And of course I have a middle row of fields, which is not that big, but it's actually my first uh, row of merged fields on this map. Yeah, 
Yeah, I forgot to mention, when you'll be watching this, I will be in a vacation, so I'll probably swim into the Mediterranean. So, so yeah, lucky me. Just for one week, unfortunately. After that, I'll return. And in a couple of weeks more, I'll have another little vacation. So yeah, for those who are also on vacation, lucky you. So I just now sold my remaining two bales of cotton. A little bit less than 600,000 for that. Which, considering the revenues that I now earn uh, by growing and selling pigs, it's not a lot. Yeah, because of this increased speed of 100 kilometers, when the AI uh, has these bumps, it will go sideways. But thankfully, the AIs now can go back to the previous trajectory, which wasn't the case previously. You know, I remember the days in the 2009, 2011 days. Um, the helper was a lot more dumber, so it by any means, like if you bumped it on purpose or it find a bump on the on the terrain, and this will change it uh, direction, it will keep in the new direction. So back then there wasn't like this, because uh, now you have like three direction. You have like north, south, south, north you have east west or west east and you have oh you have yeah two two diagonals uh you know previously this wasn't the case previously uh, you had to be very careful in the di direction that you set your helper because it will continue continue in that slightly angle so even if you had like um like a square field but you set your helper at a slight angle of two percent of two degrees for example so yeah it will continue at this slight angle now it's a lot better but it's still not at the level as it should be after so many years but yeah that's one usual complaint of mine that i keep repeating from episode to episode so um yeah unfortunately i we don't have time in this episode to to start the harvesting let me see so in real time this episode had two hours and 25 minutes that's outside of the two to three hours that i cut of my uh, uh, pig feeding and selling rush um, but we will continue as usual next time so at this point, thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit a like and please do leave a comment in the comment section below. Yes, I know I it takes some time until I, re I respond to them, but I do eventually to all of them. So uh, I hope to see you all next time and I wish you all a great uh, week. Why not? Bye bye.